there are times when you're going to need to remove a value from an array. And JavaScript has a function called splice that is exactly for that purpose. Now consider my example. I have a very, uh, an array over here called newsletter list and it includes four different values. And I'm using the alert function right after that to basically display that, in fact, newsletter list has four values. Well, let me show you how the splice function works. In order to use it, you start with your actual array that you want the splice to work on. And then you do dot splice, and you're ready to actually enter something in there, because right now it's not really doing anything. So Splice is going to require two values from you. First, it's going to need an index. And that index value refers to the position of the value you want to uh, target in the, in the array. So say I want to move this bill at Microsoft. In this, uh, in this four element array, he would be of a position one, right? Because Steve is zero, one, two, and three. So I'd start off with going splice, and in there we go one, and comma. Now, the next value is count. Now, count, what that's referring to is how many elements do you want to delete, including and thereafter. So, I just want bill to be removed, so I just put down one, and that's only going to remove one. Uh, if I put down any other value, like two or three, it would remove everything after bill, uh, or everything including and after that element. So, Let's see this in action. First, this script is going to first display our unedited array, and then after we splice it, it's going to show us the new value. So let's preview this, and here's our array with all four values, and once I click OK, OK, it removed bill at Microsoft dot com. Very good. Now, let me show you how it works when you give it more values and just one to delete, say we want it to delete everything, we go three, now the result should end up being just having Steve at Apple.com. Uh, let's verify that's the case. Here's our full array and post the splice option, we just have the one value. Now, splice is great for removing, but it actually has uh, another function you could do, and that's actually add something to your array after you've deleted it. So here we know that we've removed everything else. Well, by adding one more comma, I could, from here, add an infinite number of new elements to insert into my array. So I could put in dragos at gmail.com, and why not put in, um, let's say, bill at micro oh no I'm removing bill let's say so let's do Steve at Microsoft dot com and now the result should be that I have uh, an array with only three values Steve at Apple Dragos at Gmail and Steve at Microsoft and let's verify that that's the case using splice here's our full array and now here's our updated array and we have the results we anticipated.